I'll need to explain some things when we get there, Chrono. Why are you just clapping your hands? I thought it was a good thing for some reason. Well, Caiaphas Kane is a good man, but let's get to that in a bit. I wanted to show you guys okay. this. Oh my god. I have my phone. Okay. The Space Marine Pool. Yeah, the one thing I want that I saw earlier about this game is that you can actually customize your Space Marine to really be any chapter you want. So I'm happy about that. As far as I can tell, it's anyone you want. If so, I'm gonna make my Lamenters. Funny enough, Chrono, I should point this out to you, but you know this mm -hmm. is the average guardsman trooper or imperial guardsman. It's actually based off oh, of okay. the most one of the most badass guard regiments in the entire 40k universe. Welcome to oh. Space Marine 2, the newest yeah, installment the in the Warhammer 40,000 franchise. Oh, I love Brought the to you by Saber Interactive and the Focus Cadians Entertainment. The Cadians are crazy. I'm Oliver Hollis Like. Creative the director on the project. Of and today I'm going to like, take you on a tour of the game. I don't remember how someone explained it, but they're the very definition of they're not giving up until the ground breaks beneath them. And even then, they still don't give up. Even then, it's literally their planet cracked, and the whole thing was that the planet broke before the guard did. Yeah, Damn. that's how badass they were. Yeah. They did not give up. They lost their planet, and they're like, nope, we're still not breaking. Because they're it's what. So cool. The basically, you remember what I told you about the Black Crusades, Chrono, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I they are. So, yeah. Basically, the first planet on the way there is always Cadia. Okay. So, Cadians have always been fighting all their lives. Yep, their whole regimen and lifestyle is training, combat, learning tactics, fighting. Uh, apparently. Apparently, I think some of these Space Marines actually recruited from the from Cadia as well. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I'll be honest. I wouldn't be surprised either because the those story, are some of the best soldiers modes, they had in the yeah. Imperial. Oh wait, what? They have. We're going to be flying down from space in a freaking jump pack. Of course, they're saying the the yell of the Ultramarines' courage and honor. The Space war cry. Marine 2 is a third-person action shooter set in the grim... I like that they made it more advanced. 000. The game's campaign mode allows you to experience this epic story either oh, solo wow. or with up to three players in co-op. It, it would make sense they have a bit more advanced tech now because, you know, the Ultima founding. Space Marine 2's story begins a century after the events of the first game. A century? God damn. Captain Demetrian Titus is a genetically enhanced super soldier and hero of the Ultramarines. That is true. Your kind from the galaxy. But they, the Ultramarines have always had trouble with Titus the Tyranids. Titus returned to the Ultramarines, You're a lieutenant now. where he is demoted to lieutenant. Ah, oh, God. No, Captain. And forced to prove his loyalty in the heat of battle. On a distant world, but, he must face one of humanity's why? most- But Titus is one of the most loyal freaking space marines ever. To the point where it's kind of like ridiculous how loyal he is. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the Space Marines or the Ultramarines inside themselves would demote him. But maybe that's what the Inquisition forced them to do? I don't know. Fearsome adversaries, the Tyranids. Yeah, the Tyranids are you take control of of Titus and his yeah. fellow battle like, brothers, Chiron like, Didn't the um, Inquisition torture him? And then even then he's just like, eh, it had to happen, I guess. So, uh, they took him know, away man. to examine him for, you know, a possible chaos infection, but, Gabriel, uh, or falling to chaos, but, you know, into the thick of a but yeah, it looks like he's got two more battle brothers. Thanks to our unique swarm technology, allowing us... Of course, we're seeing, because the thing you have to know, Crow, is the, out of all the factions of 4K, the Tyranids are literally a swarm faction. Oh, okay. They, okay. They eat everything in their way and evolve. To render hundreds of real enemies on screen at the same time. You'll face kind of seemingly endless This way. kind of reminds me of World War Z just a little bit with those games. Eaves of crawling, running, and swooping enemies as far as the eye can see. You must repel the two. But yeah, he's got two more new battle brothers. The system of the Xenos threat. Battle oh, it's a lictor! jungles of Kadaku. Uh, Elictor only goes for important figures, and they're even cut off from the Tyranid hive mind just so they can hide better. 
Mid spanning metropolis of Avarax and other epic locations. Oh, wow. They're really After pulling out all the stops. You'll return to the Battle Barge, a space fortress uh. serving as the Ultramarine's orbital headquarters. Here you can gather crucial intel by interacting with onboard personnel. <laughs> They're just staying up there ready for battle. Next targets and tailor your loadout to your upcoming mission. Listen, I want my chainsword. You, you can't stop me from having my chainsword. Ranged warfare, <laughs> the Ultramarine's wide range of equipment, or a power sword. Array, I'll take either, but I like my swords. And unique special abilities. Oh, a balanced approach oh. is certainly wise, since performing a brutal melee finisher replenishes your armor and ah, keeps yes, you in the fight for longer. Hey, have you seen Suicide Squad? Yes, we I haven't seen the opening. We'll look Shred at that maybe the a bit. Of humanity with the iconic Liquefy them with the melter rifle. Ah, the melter or rifle. Crush them with the mighty thunder hammer. How you vanquish Everyone likes the to thunder, thunder hammer. Oh. up to you. Your duty is not yet done. Mm. Beyond the story campaign, you'll find operations mode. Here, the focus is on cooperation and replayability. Ah, you got a heavy unit with Play a storm one bolter. Of six classes with unique skills and oh. abilities. The then develop and customize them to the make Emperor them your own. Provides. Holy shit! You can just make your own ultramarine. Oh, uh, that's actually kind of cool. Whether you prefer the sniper's stealth cloak and long-range capabilities. The yeah, Vanguard you can literally make. It looks like you can literally make any of the uh, ultramarine factions that you want just through coloring. With bulwarks, chapter banner, and storm shield combination, your space marine specialty, along with those of your Oh my god, there's the... The Thousand Suns are here. Decisive on oh the god. battlefield. The Thousand Suns aren't that big of a deal. Those were the rubrics. They're basically walking dust canisters. The more missions you play, okay. the more you'll unlock cosmetics for your space marine. Ah, so it's unlockable. You'll also earn XP and armory data that you can spend in the Battle Barge's armory probably, to unlock new class it'll probably perks just and start improve out as, your, like, your base colors and your, like, uh... Yeah. But then I'll leave... And stuff, but it, I'm and either going cosmetics. to turn it... Uh, yeah, basically, they'll start out basic... It's kind of like how they did in Halo Reach and a bunch of old, yeah. older games. But, yeah... I uh, can't wait for this. Discipline. If you're yeah. into more competitive challenges, well then you're in for a treat. Let's go. Into the fray in our eternal war mode. Oh no! You'll be able to pit yourselves against other players. Six space marines clash against. Oh, six he's sworn... he's a night lord. Uh, there's oh. a poor soul. <laughs> poor soul. <laughs> Technically, then. True, sure, you know why I say that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, there's an Alpha Legionnaire, so they're literally, you can customize your own Chaos Marine Chaos or, or Traitor Marines. Marine. Inspired by the game's rich oh, okay. settings. That's cool. Even Choose though I don't like the Chaos set. faction, but you know. The intense Annihilation Deathmatch. Strategic Seize Ground. Or the exhilarating Capture and Control. Then engage in adrenaline pumping matches and test your skills against players from across the world. I just realized how much that one guy over there earlier just looked like Kata Sakaris. Each skirmish offers you the chance to earn more XP and add more weapons to your arsenal. <laughs> oh you my god. Your valor on the battlefield. That's all Roll just Trauma! a taste. Wait, wait, wait. I just saw a dead. A Dread not. Uh, can't speak to a dreadnought in the background, so we might get to pilot a dreadnought, even though that's not how they work. Yeah. There's gonna be, there's gonna be so many freaking black templars and, I guess some blood angels. Which I did watch a video about Sanguinius a bit while back, and it does make perfect sense. It also make it also makes me like him even more because I relate to him a little more than I should now. But yeah, I can't wait for this. Gold or ultra editions and defend humanity on September 9th. If one of our brothers gets heavily injured, we gotta put when him in the dreadnought. I mean, if he's a well-renowned brother, maybe. Yeah, we just on hate PlayStation him. We 5 